Johnson and I'm here in Rapid City, South Dakota in the middle of January to look at the machine behind me there which is a TSI tour reactor. Uh, this machine torrifies wood chips and what I'm going to do today is take you through the machine and show you how it works. Okay, so I'm here in the uh, area where we prepare the wood chips and feed them into the uh, tour reactor and down here to my right I've got a pile of the processing yesterday and as you can see it's a fairly mixed bag of uh, pine chips we've got some big bits in there we've got some bits of bark we've got a lot of fines and this has been pre-dried and uh, what we do then is feed it into the tor reactor and torrify it. Pre-dried chips are loaded via hopper and conveyor into a metering bin and from there are conveyed into the tor reactor by screw conveyors. The chips enter the reactor through a double purged airlock and are chuted into a rotary drum. Heat energy for the system is provided by a combination gas burner. The burner is fired, in this case by both natural gas and tor gas from the process. At higher loads the tor gas makes the system autothermal. Products of combustion go through a gas-to-gas -gas heat exchanger and heat the process gas in the system. The process gas is moved through the system by an ID fan, with excess gas going back to the burner for combustion. The process gas directly heats the chips in the drum and torrifies them. Torrified chips are discharged through a drop box and cyclone arrangement into a water-cooled screw. After cooling, the chips are discharged through a double purged airlock arrangement for further processing. The system is controlled by an industrial PLC with touch sensitive operator interfaces. All process parameters can be monitored and controlled from this panel. The output can be bagged, bulk loaded or conveyed directly for further processing. So what a tor reactor does is it roasts the wood chips. It roasts them in a zero oxygen environment for about 15 minutes and gets them to a temperature of about 550 degrees Fahrenheit. When they come out of the other end they're a nice dark brown colour like this sample I have here. process of roasting these chips what we've done is we've cooked off the hemicellulose in the wood and we've boiled off any volatiles in the wood and the uh, resulting product is a, a more energy dense product than regular wood chips. They can be further processed into either pellets and briquettes and used as a renewable fuel that has much of the same properties as coal.